What was your first impression of me? <sighs> Life is always Hey friends, welcome back to another video. You would not believe all the things we've had to go through to make this video happen. Like, this is real. take number three. The devil don't want this video to go up. <laughs> Today, the husband tag is actually happening and we've done the boyfriend tag. Yep. We've changed a lot since then. We're gonna try to link that video down below so you can oh see gosh. the year's progression of our relationship. We didn't delete it. No. Oh, we should have. But we're gonna yeah. answer some of your very frequently asked questions and juicy things you've been wondering. So without further ado, let's get into the Let's question. go, I'm ready. The first question we're gonna ask Nicholas here is in response Whoa. to the video that I did where I sat down and I talked about how I had lost my virginity to Nick. Did you find it? I found it. Ah! <laughs> I'm sure it is. <laughs> A lot of you wanted to know Nick's perspective, but since I don't think a whole video can really be made of that, we're gonna answer a question that a lot of people asked in the comments. In comparison to what intimacy was in your head at the time where you were dating me and maybe even before you knew me, mm -hmm. what has changed from then to now in marriage? Gotcha, okay. What, yeah. Yeah, cool. Uh, the biggest change that happened, at least in my mind, was that when I was a young teenager, when I was, you know, m when I made that stupid decision. Which was what? Uh, I made the decision as a young teenager to like follow through with having sex before marriage. And it was a stupid mistake, stupid decision. But it led decision. him to Jesus. At least for me, in my opinion, it was a stupid decision. Yeah. But totally but. respect all y'all. But yeah, it did lead me down this journey of like really getting to know who God was and getting to know his character and, and really coming through a relationship with Jesus. So really in short, the things that have changed the most is that I used to objectify women, now I don't. And the reason that I used to is because that's just kind of what like culture taught me to do. It's what being in middle school, going into high school would teach you to do. Um, it's what music would teach you to do. And so now like as doing a complete 180 and gearing my life in the other direction. I respect women. I try to my best to uplift my wife and respect you and love you and cherish you and care about you. And yeah, I think I think really that's been a huge difference and a huge change from that time to now. So that is my answer. How and where did we meet? Uh, we met at Grindhouse Killer Burgers in Midtown Atlanta. And that was, oh, many moons ago that was in january of 2017. yep so and originally we had met on twitter twitter mm -hmm. what was your first impression of me <laughs> how do i say this without sounding shallow i thought she was super hot next question how and where was our first date uh first date was in St. Louis. No. No. It was close. It was in Edwardsville, Illinois. La Fonda. And it was at the restaurant La Fonda, which is a Mexican restaurant. And uh, it was it was very nice. They had wonderful salsa. Yes. The staff was quite nice. Yes. And I had enchiladas. We had our first like deep <clears throat> conversation in person because before this we were FaceTiming all the time. Yes. We were distance for like over a year and a half if you include the time we were talking as friends mm -hmm. so yep pretty long time where was our first kiss and how was it uh first kiss was meh and okay. um i mean any kiss is like you know better than no kiss but you know some kisses are better than others our first kiss was pretty good i mean that's what i think great uh we've definitely had better didn't you feel <clears throat> like the the, the hormones raging through you just the rush uh no um anyways what? it was at art hill in st louis mm -hmm. right next to some goose poop um mm -hmm. on a lake that we were we were sitting on the edge of this lake and there were yes. many of 
Geese is the yeah. proper terminology. Yeah, that was where our first kiss was. So. so, when did you meet my family? I met her family in the middle of February in 2017 as well. And on that same trip is when we smooched for the first time. Smooched. And when I asked you out after I smooched you and also after I told you that I loved you. So it was story. like backwards. It was completely backwards. But yes, would not recommend my method because results are not guaranteed. When and why did you fall in love? Oh, that's, yeah. Well, I don't think there was any like moment yeah. necessarily that I was just like, Oh, Chelsea, you're the one for me. I want to take you home and love you all the days of my life. Uh, yeah, that moment never really like, came all in like a rushing, just- a rushing wind. Yeah, but I think we had an early trust that both of us held to, and we never broke that trust, and we continued overcoming obstacles together. I think if you overcome obstacles with another person, I think you'll, you'll bind together pretty quick. And then I think it was just that going through time and going from days to weeks to months to years and getting to walk this journey together and I think that's what creates like a deep bonded love. Yeah, um, I wouldn't say people. that that trust was so. broken. I would say that there was times where our trust for each other was tested for sure. Yeah. Um, I don't want it to sound like we had it easy, but that for sure was solidified from the beginning since mm -hmm. I had struggled with uh, mental illness quite a lot. For sure. For a while. Yeah. All right. So, um, how long have we been together, relationship and marriage included? We have been together, oh, so dating and marriage together. We've been mm -hmm. together for three years, two months, 24 days, wow. and 12 okay. minutes as of this recording. Okay, how do you resolve problems? We're gonna answer two more questions. Yeah, so I normally have to go and be alone and like mm -hmm. away from whether it's Chelsea or anyone else or anything else really, like whatever is, yeah. wherever the conflict is. I normally have to take some time to just chill and relax and kind of be alone and be um, just with my own self and my own thoughts. And then after I kind of come down, normalize, take a breather, I can normally come back to the situation and resolve it or, you know, deal with it in whatever way, shape or form I need to. And normally things will end up being okay after that. So that's my resolution method. One so. of the things that he just said reminded me of another question you were going to have. So there's some annoying things that we do to each other. And that includes how we talk. There are certain phrases that we repeat often. You may have some that come to mind when you think of the person that you love or the person that you also love and that annoys you sometimes. Yes. So Nick always. Oh, I've got one too now. So, but you go ahead. Nick always adds filler words when he doesn't know what to say or he's trying to like seem like all of his words are coming together. And it's always and um or and uh. And he does it a lot on our podcast. So I don't know if you've noticed that, but if you go back and listen to him, you'll be able to hear him. Lady, hush. I'm kidding. Kind of. You go and look in the dictionary and it's spelled and then you hit the little thing with the button to pronounce it to you so that you can assure yourself that you're saying it correctly like any good decent folk would one word no two words that chelsea says that really bother the mess out of me is vice versa man i want to make sure i'm saying that right let me click it vice versa chelsea refuses and I mean refuses to say it correctly. She continues and continues and continues to say, and I quote, visa versa, visa versa. What in the world is a visa versa? It is vice versa. I had heard and that somebody is all. say it that way once and I wanted to say it ever since. What key elements make a successful relationship and marriage? Hallelujah. Uh, I'll answer. 
Oh, well, no, I, this is the husband, Mer me tag. This is me answering, not you. Uh, I think the first thing, the biggest thing is that you have to have the same foundation. Yeah. And the same morals, ethics, like system of belief, perceptions, thoughts about like your worldview and all that stuff. And then I think if those things are very close in line or at least pretty close in line, I think you'll be all right. Normally, most times. Well, I think such a huge thing too is if you have this trust for this person and you don't have any suspicion that they're not who they say they are, then that's great. It's a great foundation. True. But always assume the best about each other because if I know that Nick has committed his life to me and to love me and that our vows are true, then I should assume that he has my best interest in mind. And sometimes it doesn't always seem that way with actions and everything because of the way we perceive things. But usually like when we're perceiving things wrongly, we'll accuse someone. And when you're accusing, it kind of like makes you go into defense mode, like you're defending yourself against each other. And then it seems like you're at war and I don't ever want that. And it doesn't feel good to be like that. So assuming the best about each other really helps like to, yeah. to know that they are not against you at all. It's so, true. Yeah, That's very true. Just some that's thoughts. That's great. No, that's really good. But I appreciate that. That spoke to me actually. Really? Yeah. We hope that you gained something from this video and inspired you or entertained you in some way. Hey fam, also do me a solid and turn on that do bell me. icon. And then I think now you have to hit some other thing once you hit the bell icon to go turn on all notifications or something. And uh, I think that's all we got guys. I, I literally just said it. I literally just said, and uh, I think, I think I did. Anyways. Anyways. We love each and every single one of you. Thank mm -hmm. you for watching. If you enjoyed this, share it with a friend or don't, that's fine too. Peace. Bye. <laughs> Later. Deuces. See ya. We're out. We're going to stop recording now. <laughs>